everybody, and welcome back to Feather Fall. Here we are standing in front of Haz's Hay Shack, and as you can see, I have lots of pumpkins. I did that really tricky, didn't it? It confused you. Uh, I don't want you to see what's behind me, or what was in front of me a minute ago, but I've got pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. I think what I'm going to do is put them actually down here in the water because that seems to light up a nice bit of area. I tried it in another farm and it seems to be working nicely and that way they're not in the middle. Um, da, blah, 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 blah. They're not in the middle of the yard making everything look uh, ugly. Now, I have a question for all you guys out there who've ever grown trees underground. What's the ceiling height it needs to grow? One, two, three, four, five. Does it need like six? Does it need to be four blocks away from a wall? Because this tree is not growing. I'm sure it's got plenty of light. Everything else has light. And I've even, you know, tried to give it a helping hand, and it's not growing. So I would like to have a little tree back here. Oh, and in case you didn't see, there's grass! I brought down one of my grass blocks that I purchased from Brian Brian's um, rare block farm. Excuse me, I just sneezed a minute before I started recording, and I probably should have blown my nose. Um, but it is spreading nicely. It's kind of a ugh color in here, so um, we'll have to fix that at some point. Let's come in here and pop that one. Uh oh, that wasn't happy, pandas. Let's get this in there before they all die. There. Hopefully that's going to be enough light. All right. Ugh. Okay, did we did we So we lost a lot of wheat just then because I took the light away. Um let's see if it comes back and I've already harvested some of the wheat and replanted it. Are we missing any more? We just have two extras. Why do we have two extras? Water of two extra, okay. Well, there. That fills that plot, hooray! And it seems to be staying in the ground, so having the, the jack-o'-lanterns in the water source block seems to be enough light to light everything up well. So, what I didn't want you to see, see, we oh, we've got 12. Let's uh, sneak over here and make a couple hay bales. I'm still hiding something because I've been doing some work on the farm across the way from Hass's place. But let's come up here and see about putting in our first hay bale. And do we want to just like... Ah, oh, that's right, we have Hass Labs. Okay. Give me it. Thank you. Good, good catch. Okay. So if we take out... Hmm, how can we do this? Helps if I use the right tool. Mm, aha, we can get back here. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Hopefully you guys can't. I'm trying not to make it so you could see the uh, other place. Alright, so if we start over here in the corner, I guess, and put a hay bale there, I think that looks okay that way. Mm, maybe not that way. Let's see, can we put it down this way? Okay ends up the same way. That's okay. I guess that's the way we're going to have it. So it looks kind of funky for now. We'll come back and fix it. What we'll do is we'll put the half slabs back in that we took out momentarily just to fill that little gap at the roof so it doesn't look quite so funky. There. All right. So I... Woo! Ah! Okay. Whew. So over here across the way from Haz is... We started putting dirt in last time, and ooh, there's grass, there's tilled farm soil, and ta-da! More pumpkins. This one's only got room for one water block, and then we'll put lots of grass spreading around the sides. And this one is Fox Panda's Potato Hut, and this is going to be our little potato farm. Um, I think I have sufficient lighting throughout, but we will... Um, keep an eye on it, make sure that it keeps going. And ta-da! This is pretty cute. I kind of like that. I went with the birch wood uh, for the potato hut, 
because it's kind of the color of potatoes. I haven't got any chests in here, but we've got a nice little closet in here to put some storage. Might open it up a little bit more over there, but just a little bitty closet of a shack for the potato hut. That is that. Yay! Fox Panda! Congratulations, you now have a potato hut. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, so it looks like that is sufficient lighting because they're not popping up. And this one's actually ready to go. And it gave me no seeds. What a ripoff. Alright. Pardon me. And so we're going to, like I've been saying, we're going to kind of make a main road. It might kind of go this way and then come over this way a little bit. And then it's going to come right here to the ravine. And I've made us a little bit of stairs going down. I'll probably put actual stairs in here eventually. And I still have to finish clearing this out. But this is going to be our last farm. And now we have a clearly marked path. Now, we do have to leave this step up because I was mining that out. And right under this is the tunnel, that tunnel over there. So I, I can't take this layer off. Um, I might go over it with slabs. I don't know. But I think the next task I'm going to do is be clear out this area for our third farm. And I'm trying to think of what kind of fencing to like help keep mobs out. And I'm thinking... We got a bunch of mossy cobblestone. I'm thinking mossy cobblestone walls. Ooh, I've never made them before. I didn't even know they existed until I saw somebody use them on a let's build. I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so cool. I don't know what, we could do a little something here. I don't know what, maybe a little lake. Ooh, an underground lake. And we could take out that little pillar or we could leave it. Hmm, we can make an underground, oh, 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 spoilers. Spoilers, can't tell you what I was thinking just then. But we definitely, hmm, I don't think we want this level here. Um, we'll probably make the road come up, maybe. Well, I'll have to make this a little bit wider here, because this road, this part of the road right here is like one, two, three, four wide. Um, so we'll probably want to make this four wide as well. How far apart are they? Yeah, so these guys are four apart. Well, three in the middle, and then the walls. So we're going to take this out to match this, and then I'll use some of the stone I've collected. Um, get hit the right button, there we go, to fill this in so it's nice and level. Like uh, this. Uh huh. And then more over here. <laughs> And I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that opening that goes down into the lava pit or not. Um, now over here, it kind of runs into nowhere land. But we could go ahead and use our silk touch efficiency 5 whatever and just smooth this out and maybe match this up here. And then we'll have like maybe to right here and then we can have it go up there. And then this is a nice and road. So I'm going to put on a little music. Down, 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 down. Um, no, I won't sing the whole music. I'll put on a little music and speed up the video so you guys can watch. We'll put the crafting table over here. And then I'll open this up a little bit more. And... Ah! He scared me. Stop it! Where did... Yeah. Obviously, it's not light enough for spawns to not, uh, bleh, mobs to not spawn. Really? What is the light level here? 12, oh, oh 12, 11. Mmm, whew. My heart is racing. I've been, like, running around down here all safe and secure, like, there are no mobs down here, and then all of a sudden, he comes jumping out of nowhere. I'm in a hole. Maybe he spawned up there, which means we have to fix that. I have some dirt. I think I had a torch up there, and I may have accidentally knocked it down during some of my building. Where is this hole? Oh. That was really smart. Okay, let's take a look again. Let's come over here, then. Up here. Here. 
All right. It's a little, it's a little bit dark right here, just a little bit. So we're gonna put a handy dandy torch up here. Nobody'll know it. And then hopefully we won't have any more skeletons. Now that's that jump. That was real. I mean. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we're gonna do this and I'll see you in a second and turn around and I'm gonna shot my skeleton. I was not expecting that. Alright, that really did scare me. I screamed like a little girl. Ah! Um, I don't know if we need any more torches up there. I think it's pretty well lit. And we might, you know, eventually take it out. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm gonna speed up the video, put on a little music, and enjoy the speed mining. See you soon. Sleep in the light of day Show me the clouds of dawn Build me a paper plane Fly it until we're lost. To dry your eyes, we'll touch the skies. I hear a zombie. There you are. Where did you come from? Maybe in here? Hmm. Okay. Much better. Sometimes you need a friend stuck in a tangled way. Alright, so this looks pretty good. Now I have to figure out how I want to transition from this road to that road. I think maybe we bring it back here. And then maybe we can make a little wall. Something like that. And then we can use stairs. Mm hmm. Oh, I know. Stone brick stairs. It's like we don't have any materials to make stairs. We can make stone bricks. Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm just trying to do. I think that we should be good for now, and then we'll make some stairs. Boom. And so then maybe we'll make them over here. Go boom, 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 boom. And then over here we can do boom, 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 boom. And then over here can um down some more smooth stone. Oopsie. Come back here. There, there, there. And now we can get our stairs. And there, there. There, there. There, 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 there. There, there, my dear. No need to worry. Perfect number of stairs. We'll have to bring this wall back some because we're running into the wall as we come up. Did I hear another googly? Another monster sound. No? No monsters? Good. Good, good. No monsters. Alright, so that is what we've progress we've made so far. And we could probably bring the wall a little bit more here. There we go, so we've got here. Ooh, that might be close though, because if we put a stone wall here, yeah. Okay, plan B. Let's bring it back. Put a stone wall here, and probably bring it back. Have plenty of room to get through. What if, actually, what if we make it come up this way? Oh, ideas, ideas in progress. 
So something like that, and we can have the wall there. Mm-hmm, thinking. I'm a thinking. And then we take our four stone stairs and have them go this way. Oh, that's kind of cute. And then, aha. And we'll uh, make it all more clear. Maybe we'll change this to all andesite. That would be a nice road color. A nice white road andesite through our underground thing here. Not andesite, sorry, diorite, the white one. So that is our progress report so far. You can come back here, harvest some more wheat. I want you guys definitely leave me some information in the comment section about growing trees underground. Do they need to have six high? Do they need more info? I hear more zombies. Zombie? No. Zombie? Where are you coming from? Zombie! I hear you. But I cannot see you. Zombie? No. Zombie? Zombie? You must be back here. Alright, go through the secret wall. Aha! What are you doing? You're hiding back here. No hiding allowed. No hiding zombies allowed. Really? I hear more? Where you come from? Hmm. Hiding zombies. Okay. Well, guys, as I was saying, I need you guys to give me feedback on the information on these trees to grow underground. Do they need to be, what roof height do they need? How far do they need to be away from a wall? Please leave me some information in the comments because I would really like to grow a tree. If not, I'll just have to make a tree. Mmm, that's an idea. So I'm going to harvest some more wheat. And as always, oh, I lost my chest plate. When all oh, the like, skeleton must have done it. I'll have to get a new one. Anyway, uh, I've been Dragon Feathers. You have been awesome. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.